Transgender Day of Remembrance, for me, it's always the most emotional moment in my life. It is the ultimate reminder how, how lucky I am to be alive, to be sitting here having this conversation where a lot of people all over the world are being killed or were killed because of who they are, because of the simple fact that we, we are ignorant of, of the understanding of what it means to be trans and human. In my case, as a transgender woman, I was assigned boy at birth. I knew at such a young age that I'm a girl, I'm a woman. When I was 15 years old in the Philippines, I started joining beauty pageants. I was discovered by a transgender woman. And from 15 to 17 years old, that was my job. I owe so much to the transgender community for allowing me to be in tune about who I am at such a young age. So it's a big gift for them about the work that I'm doing with Gender Proud and for me to share my story. So they know that their stories matter, their, their voice matters and their lives matter. I'm very inspired and grateful for being able to launch Gender Proud and advocating for this thing called Gender Recognition Law. What that means is a law that allows trans people and gender non-conforming people like intersex people to change name and gender marker on legal documents without being forced to go through surgeries. It comes back to the very basic component of being acknowledged feeling dignified when you wake up in the morning. Your legal documents match who you truly are. Transgender Day of Remembrance, for me, is an important reminder of why this work needs to happen fast. It's a reminder of why this work needs to include not just transgender people, but allies, to find authentic allies to understand that being trans is part, it's just part of the human diversity, human diversity of expression and we need to have laws that supports that so in the next 10 years hopefully all over the world there's gender recognition law that allows people to be who they are from the simple fact of just self-identification.